Hello, I'm Richard Voves, the bald explorer, out on another walk. At... No, just a minute, sorry, I'm, I'm not out on another walk. I'm, I'm inside because it's blooming cold. Look, I've got my hat on, I've got my scarf on, I've got my gloves on, I've even got my Harris tweed coat on, it's so cold. Well, I think winter is virtually upon us now and, well, to be honest with you, some of the days are going to be just appalling to go out and film. Actually, because I'm inside, I'll take these off because otherwise I won't feel the benefit, will I? Yes, so I know what you're asking. Where are the walks? What's happening? Well, don't panic because we have got some walks lined up. For example, this. You've got some notes. Come up yes. then. Right. No sitting about, no shilly shallying. Uh, the seat was a bit damp. So it was uh, a bit. We're going um, in search of a windmill today, aren't we? Yes. In, in the midst of these woods. Not a place you would imagine to find a windmill, Martin. Well, no, I mean, that's, um, that's why we may not find it where it was originally. And there again, Martin and I went and did this. So as we speak, Martin is now scrabbling around in the undergrowth. Now, this is something that uh, an industrial archaeologist is prone to do when doing their research. I should make that absolutely clear because sometimes ancient relics are beneath the surface. So Martin, how are you doing with the uh, with the searching for uh, well, remnants I'm, of I'm the looking. ice um, uh -huh. house? Aha! Uh -huh. So we do have the walks lined up and we will still be going out and doing those walks. It's just that some days, you know, the weather is going to get so bad. It's going to be sleety, it's going to be snowy, it's going to be rainy, the light is going to be rubbish, the sun will drop down before you know it. I'm making tons of excuses because actually I'd rather be in the warm. Well, that's true, I know, I know. But, um, so, what are we going to do? I think for the winter, we should try and do a few shows inside. Now this is where I'm going to need your help because I can be in the studio and I can spout about this and spout about that. I'm a very good spouter in actual fact but I need your suggestions because well we could do oh, I don't know we could do some cooking shows, we could do some local interest shows, we could talk about history, um, I can get Martin in and he can be a guest in the show. Um, we could do all sorts of st stuff like that which would be great. But I have an even better idea. What I'd like to do is to stream the show. Now, I know places like YouTube, they allow you to stream um, in real time. So it's live. And I think that will give it the edge so that you, the viewer, would be able to contact us through uh, your keyboard and the internet and what have you and I and, and maybe Martin if he's here we can contact you back and, and, and wave and all that sort of stuff and have a bit of fun. Um, now the shows initially would have to be pre-recorded like we normally do when we go out for a walk because I haven't got all the technical gear but um, if I save up Maybe I can get all the gear and then we could do some sort of streaming show. And I'd be interested in your thoughts and your suggestions and your impact, because while we're all going to be huddled up inside during the winter, it would be nice if we can, you know, make this our show together, all of us, which would be great. So I know there's no walk today, but there's more things exciting to look forward to. For example, you probably all know this by now, but... I've announced that um, Martin and I, and I've spoken to Martin, and he's he's very much up for the idea. We're going to do an evening with the Bald Explorer and Martin Snow. And, and I mean an evening with, as in a live event, a sort of theatre production, which would be great. Um, now, we can't afford a, a theatre as such. Actually, uh, for those in Worthing who know St Paul's, the chapel there, I did inquire how much it would be uh, to be in there as a venue because we had overwhelming and amazing interest. Thank you very much for that. And St Paul's, I thought, would be a lovely old building to house it in. It would be great. £780 they wanted, plus this and plus that and plus the other. It was uh, nearly a thousand pounds to do it. So actually we'll probably end up in some pokey old hall somewhere, but as long as it's snug and warm, I'm sure it'll be fine. And we'll make sure there's tea and biscuits as well. So 
What sort of thing will we do, I hear you cry, in our live show that uh, hopefully you will be able to come and see? Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, you don't probably know all the different weird and wonderful things that I've got up to over the years. Um, and that includes juggling and unicycling, fire eating, lying on beds of nails, uh, appearing in things like The Bill and um, Campion and One Foot in the Grave, even on um, EastEnders, yeah. So um, I've got a weird background and history to give you a bit of biog. And then Martin also has a strange and quirky history. Well, I think he does. I... He's never really told me. I'd be interested to find out that myself. So we could have, you know, find out a bit more about us personally. Uh, we could do some history chat about some interesting places that we found out about. Uh, probably mugged up in the uh, toilet just before we started the show. But, you know, that's all part of the course. Um, then we could show a film that we haven't shown anybody yet. We haven't actually made it yet, but we could show a film that's not going to be on YouTube. So you get personal first hand of it, which would be great. And maybe then question and answers from the audience. That will be the bit where we're slightly worried because you're going to ask us questions uh, that actually we haven't the foggiest idea. Well, it's all right for me because I will just ask Martin. What, what's the answer to that, Martin? There it is. Hmm. And he'll be running for the library and getting out all the books. But then mind, we'll end, I think, with then our turn to get back at you guys. Because we could have a general knowledge quiz on historical things. Or as Martin likes to say, hysterical things. So we could have a bit of a quiz with prizes. Yeah, that, that, don't expect anything expensive or jolly. It might just be a tub of cocoa. But, you know, a hot drink at the end of the day is better than going out into the cold, frosty night all on your lonesome toddsome. So, there we are. That could be our show. And of course, we'll try and record it and then bung it up online so that uh, people who live further away than Worthing or couldn't be asked to come on the night can get to see it later. Uh, then they can send the money afterwards. I don't know how much we'll charge because it all depends on how much the venue is, but I wouldn't think it would be more than seven quid think that would be fair. Anything above that, we would be getting above our stations. Anyway, that's the plan. I'd love to know what you think. Do write a comment. Tell me what you think, because um, I'm running out of ideas, to be honest. Anyway, we will still get out when the sun is shining and it's a bit warmer and not so nasty and try and get the walks in as well. So the aim is just basically to keep this Monday to Friday daily content going. So some in the studio, some out and about. So there we go. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you anon. See you on the next one. Till then, goodbye. Back into the cold now, I'm afraid.